So let's see what it looks like underneath. So that does not look electrical to me. And also that plastic cover, that's what the back end looks like. So I gotta, can't really see the next step here because I know I want the inner tracks out, but I know I have to remove this top portion somehow, And but I can't see below this. So I'm gonna lift up my back mats, which takes a little yank because it has these prongs on it. I can't see it here. Can you see it right there? Oh, uh, right here. It's kind of like, it's just a straight up pull. Just pull straight. Don't pull back, don't pull forward. And then here, this kind of just comes up. And I think that's where my screws, there they are. So let me go remove this back mat plus this front mat right here. And then we'll get back to removing the plastic. i got to use this handle to push up my seats that are super stuck. My tracks are nasty. And I'll see yank up. See, this one has one of these two. Just straight up. Look at that. Beautiful. And this, I can finally figure out how to fix that thing because I broke that a long time ago. See these? Just, you can grab them. Straight up. These are all just straight up grabs. Sorry. Man, I needed some leverage there. <laughs> on this side let's pull out my extremely dirty mat I'm going to try to lay everything outside so I can remember where everything came from I'm actually stuck right here because so I didn't realize that so this part is so there's a half piece right here which is freely this part is freely out and there's this tiny little part that's right here. And this also needs to go back. And that is what is currently stuck for me. But I'm so dumb because this was blocking me the whole time. <sighs> Learning curve, huh? Pushing my seat all the way up. Freeze it. Yay. Look at that. Now this, see how what I was talking about? That middle part was just stuck right between the two parts of the track. And I got it, look. Now, that's what's on here. <laughs> Yay! Small win. So the front ones here, these actually unlock, unlike the aft ones, the aft ones, you pull straight up. But these ones, you have to unlock, because if you break that, then you'll have to pry this whole thing out. So, yeah. And this is also straight up. And this is not hard. I do not go to the gym or work out at all. And I can totally do this. And I'm not just saying that to motivate myself. <laughs> I'll note. I pulled straight up from here and I tried to pull forward and I was like, why am I stuck? This one came out all the way. This one, you need an extra like pull up you got to put your fingers about here there's another one you got to pull up same back here there's one more just got to release it and then it should come out easily that's why i was kind of stuck because there's a spot here here and i didn't see it when i did the initial pull up so you got to make sure you get these ones too this is what it looks like underneath and these three facing inside so on this these two sides they were a little bit more stuck because they, they were right here on the seat so when i pulled it out it didn't come out so you just have to pull that up to the other side. This one I already unbuckled. This one I have to unbuckle. So there's only three unbuckles for this one here. Oh my gosh, it's so dirty. Ew. Oh, I found some food. That's gross. Just gotta love having children. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and start pulling these up because I'm already here. And now that I kind of know what to expect, I'm just gonna start pulling them up because I can get my little finger under here. my seats are currently all the way back I'm gonna move them forward after I get this I just loosen the front I did not start pulling these because I do want the seats up first and pull the back side first back 
side, here we go. Let's try this. Now that we know better, let's try to do it a little bit more slick than last time, huh? wrong. I guess this side is actually on top of that side. I try to take that out and I realize that the lip is deceiving. It's hard to see when I'm looking through the phone, but I'm going to pull this side out first. Two hands. If your car tracks are actually clean enough, you can actually go pretty far forward. I had to like use all of my body weight to push my seats forward because my kids have made my tracks very dirty and I did not realize that. So see how much of a difference it is. Like this is how far it stops automatically and I have to push it this far forward. But yeah, that's exactly where it stops. So that's actually pretty good. If you're able to just get it all the way up, do it all the way up, you'll be able to pull it out even easier. Not very hard. Okay, so now it looks uh, not as scary as I thought it was gonna look. I thought this was gonna be like even harder, but this is starting to look a lot more doable kind of anxious seeing all these plastic parts and not knowing how to take those out first. So remember, you can slide your seats all the way back so you can take it out a lot easier. I didn't remember until the last cover that my seats actually slide back too. Oh, it's so blurry. Yeah, my seats actually go back with this guy. I forgot about that. I had to move the other car out of the way so I can pull the seats out. Larger ones. I got a 15 millimeter. Right, let's do a count of the large ones first. Okay, so for the large ones we have one, two, three, then an overlap where the 60 seat is over. Four, five, six, seven in the back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just in the back row of the 15 millimeter right here. So let's keep it real, I need this much leverage to take those out. <laughs> so I needed about this much leverage to break 40, I think this is 40 foot-pounds, I think. I'll have to check later in the manual, but I definitely am a little weak. It's been a while since I had a break. Torque like that, and it's just kind of awkward because I'm really high up here, and I can't really get down there because the door would be in my way, and the chair would be in my way, and I can't exert the other way. So... Yeah, it's just the initial, it takes a little umph if you're a little out of shape, you know. This is made slowly, so I went around and did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I broke the torque on this side first. So like, easy gets harder, getting harder. This one is so tough. These outer two are so, I think it's just because of the way this, where this, uh, all the load rests on here. Even though I did break torque on this one first, it needs more umph. So <laughs> I'm kind of sweating here. Still going, but this time I took it off. I, was, I didn't want to have it shorter because of my knuckles. And I just kind of lose space here. But I'm going to have to because these... Look, I, can, I barely got this up. Like, ran it with three threads. And it is like so tight, these two. So I put this here because this is forward. I think what's happening is all the weight is kind of kind of like going this way so there's a lot of um stress on this a load on this one and a lot of load on that one so the other ones are super easy it's so frustrating because these are not and i don't have a lot of space to work with it this is so embarrassing it took me an entire hour to loosen this one and that one enough so now i could actually just like take all the other ones out because the other ones no problem it took me an entire hour to get those two out and it's not even just because I couldn't break torque at the beginning. Because I could with all the other ones. And they're all torqued to the same. It was just like it's in. At a, like I don't know if it's because like everything just moved. You know? You take one out. Everything just goes boop. So there was a lot of pressure on those two. This took me forever. But those four are finally off. But since that's underneath that. I think I have to take the other side off. But look. That 
That was so hard. I don't know how I'm going to get the other seat out because the way I got this one out. Huh. Oh, man. It's dirty. The plan is to put these, though, back in the holes because these holes straight to the ground. Well, this one. One, two, three, four. Wow, this is so dirty. One, two, three. Ew, what is that? That better be a raisin. <laughs> hey, look, a penny. Yeah, that was way hard. Okay, it, it wouldn't have been as hard if this and this one wasn't hard. Everything else would have been fine. Getting it out by myself is also a little hard, so I'm really questioning how is that one going to get out? <laughs> probably through the trunk. See, it's a bigger opening. It's probably through the trunk. But I think this one's going to be folded flat. Fold it or fold it flat and then tip it up and get it out. Look at me. One down. These were all the parts that came out. So that really wasn't a lot. Like that plastic probably didn't even need to come out. Did that come out on this side? Did that even have a plastic? Oh, this one didn't even have a... Oh, this one does have a plastic thing. But it doesn't... It didn't need to come out. Oh, it didn't need to come out. This didn't need to come off, so let's put this back on. <laughs> That's funny. But, like, not funny. Okay, so I only needed to take out the four... One, two, three, four back there. And then this one only has three because that one was overlapping. And those ones are okay. I ended up not having to take out any of these littles. So that's fine. It's literally seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's it. All the other stuff can stay on. Like this plastic cap didn't need to come off. Those ones don't need to come off. It's just a little bit harder to take it out. Doesn't need to come out though. And this front side. Front side, I got one, two. Use some cardboard under there and slid it the rest of the way. And then I had to bring it through the trunk because it was... So I flipped soft side down and they would flip. But I had that to help me get it out. And now look. It's finally done. Whew, that was hard. That took a long time. So dirty. These are going to go back in, but these will not. And that will go back in. But after I clean. Got to replace those, those two, and those three after I clean. And I plan to put those back in and then fill this in with this heavy foam that I have. And then I'm going to put the mats back on over this. Since those clips and latches are still here for at least the front ones. Maybe not the back ones. So we'll see. Otherwise, it would be very cold.